Yo, what's going on everybody? This is your main man, Let's React. And today, um, we'll be doing another story time. I know I haven't done a video in a while, I'm so sorry about that. Today I'm gonna make it up. Um, first off, let me thank Merc Music for... Well, you know, let me give him credit for this. I'm not really racing, but I'm just using it as a background, I guess you could say. Because I really don't want to be playing any games right now. I'm tired. I just want to tell this story and then go to sleep. That's all I really want to do. Um, what should this story be? How about... I've already done my fight one, I think. I think I did my girlfriend one of my crazy dreams. Hmm... Huh. How about we talk about the fights at my school that go on? Okay, if y'all if y'all ever went to high school or are in high school, you know that some people fight over some stupid crap. One of the reasons I'm talking about this is because at uh, my school, I go to East, a place down here in Florida called Eastleigh County High School, where a lot of police officers like to call it the thug or gangster school. Only for le only for people on that part of the place, though. And the reason they do this is because, one, people bring more weapons and drugs in that school than any other little school besides Dunbar that do that. So, you know, you never know. Hold up. So, anyway, yeah, um, one of the fights that happen, the reason they also call this a gangster school, is because when you go in our stairwells, like the stairwells that are not open to normal people, that you have to go past doors to get to, not in like the main hallway area, but like, you, you know what I mean, dang it. So, all the stairwells at my school smell pure weed. And I mean pure weed. You, you... Legitly, I wouldn't say legitly, but you went never mind. So, one of the dumbest fights that happened in our school. Let's do a top three of this right now. Number three, the how would I would say this boys at my school. How is it that when I go to school, I look like I feel like I'm a total wreck. Like, no one wants to be near me, or even talk to me, or look at me, unless they know me. So, how is it that some of the most meanest dudes in my school get some of the prettiest girls? How about, how, how, how? 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 And then, yet yeah, they seem so surprised when the dudes go off and cheat on them, or, you know, it's beyond me why they like those dudes, I, I don't know. I just don't. Anyways, um, so there was this fight between two girls in the auditorium, yeah? And what had happened was that the, what was it called? Was it, oh, yeah. The two girls were fighting over a boy. Well, they took the fight from the stands to the auditorium. Basically, in statement, while in the middle of the fight, one of the assistant principals tried to get up there and break it up. Here's what happened. What basically happened was that she, well, let's say got right hooked to the face like it was in Muhammad Ali Stadium. So yeah, that happened. So while she got right hooked to the face, as soon as she got hit, she went off the stage on the ground. And then we eventually just had to get the police involved and blah blah blah. It was stupid over a boy. Uh, it was oh well number two if y'all think you've heard of some of the stupidest reasons stupidest reasons to fight wait till you hear this one this one happened to be over a drink a legit drink if you ever went to high school or are in high school at this moment you should know the little cartons of juice you get at lunch. Yes, juice. Like orange juice, grape juice. It, it's... And they'd be frozen, too. Here's what happened. I don't know how this exactly went down. I don't even sure how this played out. 
play this out in their heads either. So what basically happened was, apparently there was a six-way brawl, and I mean six ways. Like six dudes got involved over over this one thing. A little carton of orange juice. Legitly just only a little carton of orange juice. And I don't know how they played out in their heads. He's like, oh, bruh, you stole my orange juice. Give it back or I'm to whoop you. Oh, give me orange juice. It's stupid to me. How does that even start? How do you even start over that? You mu try to mug someone from their orange juice? That's stupid. That was one of the dumbest reasons I ever heard for a fight to break out, especially a six way brawl. When I hear the word six way brawl, I'm thinking it's over something, you know, valuable. Like a necklace, like a gold chain necklace. Now you see, if someone would have stole a gold chain necklace at my school, then I can see a six way brawl. But no, it has to be over orange juice? Are you kidding me? So yeah. And, you know. Number one. Number one. You thought the orange juice thing was stupid? Wait to hear this. This dude, or these dudes, in this current year, in one of my math class, my liberal arts math, we were um, doing like a little activity, you know, walking around the room, solving the problems they posted on the wall, you know, taped to the wall. We had to solve the problems and move on to the next. We were in teams of two. So, here's what happened. When the game was, when the activity was finally over, this Hispanic, I don't know his name, let's just call him Josh right now, Josh had bumped a black dude, let's call him, um, no, I don't know, hmm, let's just call him Trevor, Josh had bumped tr into Trevor, right? And you would think, okay, it's like a little tiny bump. It, was like, it wasn't even that harsh of a bump either, like how you would see from a bully or anything. It was like a little tiny bump. Well, Trevor turned around and literally pushed Josh. And Josh doesn't speak any English. He's one of the few kids in class who don't speak any English. So when Trevor went to ask for an apology, he demanded one too. He demanded an apology from this dude to the point of... Look, where you could see the anger in his eye. Well, Josh didn't mind too much of him pushing him. So you know what Josh did? He gave him a legit left hook and a right hook to the face, and a brawl broke out. What I found funny was, in the middle of all this, my friend's passing out papers, and we just kind of, we all kind of just look at him and we just continue on with the class. Like she's up there teaching on the board and everything. And we're letting them brawl it out in the back, and I was like, you know what? Let's just stop this because we have like people next door. They're trying to come in and see what's going on, and it's it got kind of annoying. So I'm like, you know what, let's just stop this, and we eventually did. We broke him up, we put him off to the side. I'm not sure what to happen after that, because that was like a brawling day, because after that, it was like there was a brawl in the hallway right after that, then there was a brawl on the bus on the way home. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was the top three most dumbest fights that ever happened at my school. If y'all have a suggestion for me to a story time of me to do some nothing too ridiculous but something well not yeah just anything basically nothing too inappropriate or ridiculous so I to the point where I could get in trouble but just enough to where it keeps it interesting so yeah if you have any interested about that um leave it down in the comment section down below um thank you for watching this video um leave, follow the three golden rules like comment and subscribe. Um, good night and have a fantastic tomorrow, I guess. Oh, also, one more thing. It's my little brother's birthday tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, but it's not technically his birthday, but we're having his party on Saturday. So, y'all know. Leave in the comment section down below. Happy birthday, Little Bubbles. Yes, that's his name I'm giving him, and I'm sticking with it, Little Bubbles. Street. When you get a street gang name, we, they name you Mayo or Little Bubbles. <laughs> Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Um, have a great night or day or whatever time zone you live in. And you know, deuces.